We started with a cause. We started with a passion. We started with a why. And the why was, and we hire people like that. We hire people because they want to be here. They're not here because of a paycheck. We are supposed to live in a highly evolved democracy. But this was the Gestapo. This makes me really sad. I was teaching in Boston on measurement-based care. I was teaching in Boston, so they ring me. They are at my house. I am the bad guy. Well, what did they take? They took slides of my presentation. They took memory sticks. So hopefully they can write the next paper in the Journal of American, American Journal of Addiction Medicine. They took three thumb drives with my presentations on them. They took my family photographs of my grandmother who's dead. And my sir, books on surgery from medical school. Wh why? We are a network, a national network of behavioral health facilities that treat, we treat veterans, and that day when they came, they, they had people in stranglehold, and they did not know these people were veterans that had trauma, that came to us for trauma treatment. I am not exaggerating, this was like the Gestapo. People came in and they treated this like some drug bust. And, and we have people who are very civilized. They, they are of a different social class. They are of a, and, and I'll tell you this with some, I, I don't know how to put this. They, they don't know how to treat a certain class of people. They, they think everybody is the, is the same. They, they just treat you like trash. If people come in with battering rams and guns and they rough us up and you have regulators coming and doing this, what recourse is there? And we don't have unlimited money. We, you know, we survive on a two month cycle. We are suffering. There's no doubt that we are suffering because people, people search the net and they find that there is an FBI quote unquote raid. And so we, don't, we only know of the ones that tell us. We don't know of the ones that don't even call us. And this is exactly the effect that they wanted. With all the media exposure, how many patients? We had 60 patients leave. Then United Behavioral Health now say, okay, we will not authorize any patients. We, we have a, you have FBI rates. How many patients are not coming? They know that this is, the, this is what they want to do to us. Ruin our reputation, make sure that we don't survive. The warrant, search warrant, is almost verbatim the cross complaint from HealthNet. We can show you the the, the search warrant, and then we can show you the cross complaint. They're identical. They, look, we obey the law. If we have, we got patients, we treat, we got, we got authorization from HealthNet. They authorized us to treat these patients. We treated these patients. The patients got better. We have outcomes to show that the patients got better. They refused to pay because the CEO wanted a $30 million bonus. He got that bonus. They lied to their shareholders. They did not then, because they wanted to merge or be bought by Centene, the company. Okay. They did not pay. And they, what they did was they just wanted to hide the fact that they have these accounts payable. So if you say that you have $300 million that you don't have to pay, you beef up your balance sheet. That's what they did, right? And so they, they got a higher share price at that point. Yes, you want a story? That is the story. I have got it all written out for you. I'll give it to you. I think you, you come close to losing faith. You come close to losing faith that if we are the 
most advanced democracy and this is done to us, what, what remains really? That if you have the money, then you can do anything. That there doesn't exist and it, you can use the government as your lackey. You can manipulate the media to write everything. You can destroy uh, an organization that is in the top 5% in the country with people that are completely passionate and invested in what they do whilst you have an epidemic going on. You will find treatment centers in Orange County like Starbucks. But they do run of the mill stuff. Yesterday, somebody who had a tire shop today has a treatment center. Why? Because you don't require a background check. You don't require any skill to do this. You, and that is the problem. There is no quality control in what you, what you do. We are, each of our centers are accredited by the Joint Commission. Mm -hmm. We are part of, we are like a university. We have got training programs at every single site that we compete with UCLA, UCSD, Harvard, Johns Hopkins for our postdoctoral and pre-doctoral training programs. We need to be the best in our class. We need to be the Mayo Clinic of Residential Behavioral Health, that measurement-based care, that we need to measure what we do. We need to be driven by the outcomes that we produce. Today, we have 2,000 people across the country at different sites that are that are doing great work, I believe, and, and, and across the world now. We continue to say that we need standards, and we've talked to the Joint Commission, we talked to the regulators several times, saying, let us develop the standards so that people do not suffer. Now, if I'm a parent, I don't know what is the difference between coming to Sovereign and coming to Ding Dong Center down the road that is run by a sex offender. I have no idea because they have got a beautiful beach and they have got a chef and they will take me to uh, Disneyland tomorrow. That is their treatment. And I will write a great review on Yelp. And you know, that's it. And they'll say, oh, they are too strict at Sovereign. They make me do six hours of treatment. This is not very good. Let us measure how good the treatment center is. What kind of assessment do they do? What kind of treatment are they going to do? Who's going to treat you? What are the components of treatment? That's what we need to know. What are the standards we're going to develop so that we can judge everybody, so that we can have a metric. And that's what, what we've been talking about, so that the public, the customer, when they are searching, can judge everybody on a scale saying, where are you on this scale? And then they come and shoot us. And we are the bad guys. Sure.